Hey guys, today I'm playing a game I just found on my Steam queue called The Cat Lady. It seems really interesting. Um, the trailer for it sounded really cool. It's supposed to be a psychological horror game. The one thing I do have to say about this game is the, uh, the graphics are pretty outdated, which is surprising since it is from 2012. Like, this isn't just my recording software being crazy, it's, it's actually... <laughs> This, uh, this low quality. <laughs> this is real life, guys. This is what it actually looks like. <laughs> and, um, I know this game deals with the subject of suicide, so if that makes you feel uncomfortable, then, um, maybe don't watch this. Uh, anyway, alright, let's, let's try this out. Let's see what it's like. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true. But I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly, but they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. So I can kind of see how this art style would work for a, a certain mood, but, um, I don't know, it's, it's just kind of strange to me. I, I'm sure I'll see some cool artistic choices from the game designers as we go further into the game. And oh look, a house. Alright, we press up to open an interaction menu. This is interesting. It seems like it's kind of like a 2D side scroller kind of deal. Um, so instead of moving forward and back with your up and down or W and S keys, you're going to be opening an interaction menu. Uh, that's locked, obviously, padlock. Um, Alright, so it looks like we're going to be looking for a key. Let's see what else is around here. The hell is this setting? This is so weird. So she was in a cornfield and then there was a barn. Now she's in some kind of weird garage. And there's like, what is this? This is like a a car crash. I don't know, but I, I can definitely see how the art style is getting a little bit more interesting. I'm into it so far. Looks pretty cool. No pedestrian access. Oh, 
rebels right now. Seems like a bus. It looks like a light's on in there. That's a little weird, but no interaction menus are showing up so far. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're gonna do a jump scare for the title of the game, or the, the game credits. That's the kind of game this is gonna be. <laughs> Alright, let's look at this ambulance. Ambulance is blocking the tunnel. Let's see if we can open the door. And it's locked! Okay, cool. Time to go search for another key. Cool. Huh? Oh. What's making that noise? Is there someone in there? Hello? Who's there? Answer me. Let's check this out. Oh. Okay, yeah, so I think I was right as far as like the uh, purgatory like setting because clearly this is the same woman's body right in front of us. Creepy. Let's look closer. It's her cold dead body right in front of our eyes. What's it doing here? Alright, let's check her out. Not really much to observe there. I really don't think your eyes would look like that for much longer after you die. Like, probably a few seconds, really. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems a little inaccurate to me if we're actually looking at a corpse right now. And of course, the key is in her mouth. She's having a little snack there. Okay, so looks like the down key is going to be to access our inventory. Right, we don't need the key right now. But I'm imagining this is the key for the padlock on the barn. So let's go check it out. Oh. Ominous music. And the roof just fell through. Okay. So I guess that's gonna be our, our roadblock from that section of the map now. <laughs> okay. This doesn't seem like a very stable structure to begin with, so I guess I'm not all that surprised. Doesn't seem like there's a uh, a sprint key, and seeing that she's in the process of dying right now, I guess that's not really all that surprising. Although she seems to be doing pretty well. Oh look, a deer! That's really beautiful. Surprising that that looks so good in comparison to the rest of the game. That deer's just piecing the fuck out. Okay. So it looks like there's more of the map to explore over there. But first, let's unlock this door. Yes, it is locked. Alright, use the key. I like the sound effects in this game, I do have to say. Um, just kind of like the ambient sounds. Sounds like there's some kind of weird heartbeat sound in here too. It's it's creepy. Oh, it's getting faster. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um let's see what's in here. Emergency power switch. It's dangerous. Alright, we're gonna need like a crowbar or something to pull this off. I bet I bet we're gonna be looking for a crowbar for a really long time. <laughs> Um, can I switch on this machine? 
Okay, I imagine the on switch is inside of that hole, and that's all we can really explore inside here. So that's that's it in there for now, until we can find something to take those boards off the wall. Take me hours to undo this knot. I think it's pretty clear at this point that we're not really pressed on time. <laughs> I think she has time to untie this knot. Look how weird this is. Look at how realistic <laughs> these animal heads on the gates are in comparison to her character model. I feel like I'm in a really weird rendition of, um, what's that movie? Who Framed Roger Rabbit? <laughs> This crow is really causing some serious frame rate issues. <laughs> this game is in like 240p, like why? See that ludicrous display last night? <laughs> um, alright, let's try the, the gate key. Well, that's, yeah. It's the only gate, so. I was right again. <laughs> the game with so few options is really making me feel like I'm a, I'm a very good gamer right now. Who the fuck is this lady? <laughs> Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. <laughs> I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But I'm curious, who do you think I am? I mean, let's be serious, this is... Death or the devil, maybe? I guess I'll, I'll say you this. The devil. I know you don't believe in God. If oh. there is no God, is there a devil? I'm something else entirely. I come when there's something to take, but I never give anything back. I am doom. But. I'm salvation. Alright, obviously this lady is some kind of I'm like angel of most, death or but something. Adored by some also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. I don't even know you. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while. Keeping you company. Always there, you know? Hmm. Always there. I'm not sure how I feel about this voice acting. <laughs> Long enough to know everything about you. This death angel lady Nobody definitely sounds like a me. an American or a British woman yourself. trying to do what is this a place? French accent. This like that's this is obviously not a French person. I don't know how I feel about them representing castle. death as an old French woman either. I really invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. But you are a special guest. And I'm going oh, to make an exception. We're gonna have a tea party? Me. That would be great. Special. I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me, lady. Don't bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. How do you know my name? Today, you are my guest of honor. What will happen next? Depends on you, Susan. Oh, lady's choice, okay. <laughs> Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there 
is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. Let's do it. It's let's, getting cold let's go hang out, out. here. Let's go in there. This is a cute place. What is this? Woody Pine? Woody Pine? Now we can talk properly, my dear. Mm, yeah, sure. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. I really am a special guest. Thanks. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Oh, thanks. Who knows? I could be your only friend. It's so early in the game to the be only friend best friends. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, have our cats I'm going hang to make out, have a tea offer. party. I this want is gonna be to great. help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will mm. change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. I don't think this woman understands the concept of suicide. <laughs> Um, yeah, what let's do see you what want she me wants to do? me to do. Yes. I think it's time some to plot explain. in here. Tell me this gameplay. What is this That's game about? That's all my manners. We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay. What's your this offer looks then? What can very you fix that satanic in here? Susan, death. <laughs> can fix nothing but though we are both dead he's I am like a facial dead. and I might body animations like when the characters are you. conversing with but each other are extremely unnerving it's making me super cops. uncomfortable and i just like you jerking their heads up and down i need you to go back and face five people mm, they're not okay. ordinary people not ordinary they're very people. special just like you only in a slightly different way. How will I recognize this dialogue is going on so isn't a great for way too long for life? such is there mediocre voice you acting? Know when oh. you see them. All right, all right, and okay, I get it, I get don't, it. You oh, sorry, if you guys want to read this yourself. dialogue, you can play the game yourself. It's 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 pretty cheap. Let's go inside. Let's do it. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. Come on, go. Why is she not moving? She's too shy. She needs to wait until death leaves the screen to continue following her. <laughs> oh, well, that's, um... Another dead Susan, dead Susan yes. number three. It's you, Susan. Come closer. Say Is hello. that a crowbar I see over there? I, I don't it. want okay. to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the, the ambulance. Of this guy. Then the forest. I can but see the crowbar. Is, this is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. Yeah, it must be pretty fucking unsettling to see so to many of your own horses. Of suffering you'd endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you count. Oh, well that's um... It's very encouraging. Good life advice from Death Bear. If any of you guys are struggling right now... Just listen to this lady. Of course she doesn't want to be here. Take that crowbar, though. We got shit to do, lady. Oh, 
Well, she needs to go to a different position to talk to death. They just need to reposition themselves for this conversation. It's time to make a decision. Ooh, creepy. The parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. I'm gonna do I it my way. Yeah, do it my, my way or the highway. Don't you understand? There is no other way. I just got a steam achievement well, for that. I don't know that. <laughs> I'll find another way without you. What? Look, I appreciate you <laughs> That was way too chance. long of a pause. Don't get me wrong. I can <laughs> made it see seem now very insincere. that I've made a mistake. And I'm ready to try to fix my life. If I don't rely on myself, I can't rely on anyone else. Another sound piece of you sage fool. advice from this game. You damned arrogant fool. Uh, well, that's rude. You have no idea what you have just done. But fine, have it your way. In the end, I will be the one laughing at you. Uh oh, what did I, I do? Oh, okay, I can either insult her, be sarcastic, or apologize. I'm a little bit threatened by her. I think I'm gonna I'm apologize. Sorry, but it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't want to know what's going to happen. I'm back in the house. Okay, it'll be fine. I don't need her. I'm mm. sure I'll figure out what to do. I don't know about that. I feel like we should find her. She probably knows what she's doing. Let's go check the rest of the house. Well, that's I disgusting. What the hell are they, anyway? They look like bugs. I can't get through these. What the hell? Ugh. Um, so the only other options are to buy one of these candles, so let's try it. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. Oh. Another suicide. This game is like a big Debbie Downer. Oh boy. Well, since there were five candles, I have a theory. Each one of these candles is going to represent one of the parasites that Death was referencing earlier. Let's see if we can blow out another one. I think that's enough for now. Well, I guess she did kind of figure out what she needs to do on her own. Let's head out of here. All right, the. The buggies are gone. Let's get out. I know I've heard that what woman the... referred to as the How queen did I get back here? of maggots, so I'm guessing those were maggots. And um, I don't know if any of you guys know much about like folklore or anything that might help you identify that reference, but. I can only imagine that that has something to do with death and that woman representing death in this game. Um, this seems like it could be an interesting concept. I kind of wish I took some different choices during that dialogue um, and went along with what that woman was saying. So then I would have a little bit more direction, but um, I have watched the trailer for this game. I'm generally aware of like what I'm supposed to do. Pretty sure I'm the the goal of the game is still the same. I have to still find these five people and report back to the Queen of Maggots about them. But either way, I have the crowbar. That's what I knew I was gonna need. So let's go use that on this doorway. 
or on the planks, excuse me. Um, crowbar, use. All right, so now there's a hole, let's look in there. The sign underneath says emergency power switch, danger. It's dark inside. All the blood around the hole, was someone hurt here? I mean, yeah. It kind of does look like it, but there's really- it doesn't look like there's any other way to turn on this machine, so we're gonna die anyway, so let's go for it. I mean, unless we're immortal now, but whatever, let's try it out. Get that switch. Oh my arm. Okay, I'm bleeding a lot now. Okay. <laughs> And I can't leave the house. I'm stuck inside this house. This music is very good. I'm really liking the atmosphere of this. I'm just gonna bleed all over this wall? That's a little gross. And apparently this machine is run on blood, so... Good to know. Alright, what do I do now? The machine's on. I can leave the house now. Well, I'm really glad that uh, whoever made this game was able to get some publicity for their Nine Inch Nails cover band friends. <laughs> I don't know if I like this style of showing the game credits, because I can't move at all during this. Like, I can- I'm gonna memorize all of these people's names because they're up on the screen for so long. Also, this music is very loud in comparison to the rest of the game. I don't know if I really want to know the person who's in charge of the art for this. Sorry, guys. What? Did I get shot? What is this? Oh, that blood sound is really gross. It's all squelchy and icky. The cat lady. Alright guys, so that's it for chapter one of The Cat Lady. Sorry for the kind of abrupt ending there. I wasn't sure if the chapter was actually going to be ending or not. And the saving convention for this game is a little weird. Just to warn you, if you're planning on playing this game, there is no autosave function. So it will not save at the end of each chapter. You can also only save when you're not in a conversation. Um, and chapter chapter two starts with a big chunk of conversation so you have to get pretty far into the chapter before you can even save your game um so i actually cheated a little bit and went ahead and, and played the first part of chapter two um but i'll replay all of that for you guys next time so you can see the whole thing and uh yeah let me know in the comments what you think of this game um or if you have any suggestions for me for things you would like to see me play next and i will see you guys next time with chapter two